Unlike an arithmetic progression, for which un is a position to term rule, i.e. if you substitute n equals 85 into un, you find the 85th term, a recurrence relation is a term to term rule, i.e. if you want the fourth term, you need to know the third, for which you need to know the second, for which you need to know the first. So a recurrence relation is defined in terms of its first term and the rule for generating the next term. Once you've found the second term, you apply the rule again for the third term, and so on. For our example, we shall consider the recurrence relation u1 equals 1, and u n plus 1 is 5 un minus 2. This means that the first term is 1, and every subsequent term is found by multiplying the previous term by 5 and subtracting 2. So the second term is 5 times 1 minus 2, which is 3. The third term is 5 times 3 minus 2, which is 13 and so on, using the rule and the previous term to generate the next term. Here is an exam style question. Our occurrence relation is defined as follows. u1 equals 4 and un plus 1 equals kun minus 8. Given that k is positive and the third term is 88, find the fourth term. Generate the second term by substituting 4 into the rule. This gives us 4k minus 8. Generate the third term by substituting 4k minus 8 into the rule. This gives us 4k squared minus 8k minus 8, which we then put equal to 88. Make the quadratic equation equal 0 and divide by 4 to get the fairly basic k squared minus 2k minus 24 equals 0. Factorise. In theory, this equation has two answers, 6 and minus 4, but we are told in the question that k is positive. So we know that k must equal 6, and we can then use the third term and the rule 6un-8 to find that the fourth term is 520.